Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Great, so if you could introduce yourself and then tell us a little bit about the company. And this is for your school paper? University, yes, but my last article was picked up by the International Wire Service. Good for you. Thank you. So, about yourself and then the company. Sure. Uh, my name is Samantha Adams, and the company is... It's a wonderful place to work, and it's a great way to live. It's a non-profit, non-governmental organization, like Amnesty International. Yes. You hope the less fortunate. That's one of the things we do, certainly. I'm sorry to interrupt. The final African water basin project is off the books. <gasps> you did it. We did it. That's great news. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, it's quite all right. You're very busy. We just completed a project that's very dear to all of us here. Right. As I understand it, the company has provided clean drinking water for an entire continent. Again, that's just one of the things, but yes, it's been a tremendous success. That and the Global Hunger Project are two of our key initiatives these past few years. Oh my goodness. I, I, couldn't, so great. I couldn't imagine working anywhere else. It really does seem like a great place to work. Everyone is so simply happy. But it's, it's not that simple. Oh? Well, simple happiness implies simplicity. And here at the company, we're not bored or naive. No, of course not. We're passionate and intelligent. It can be everything you want it to be. Me? Anyone? <laughs> Is it hard to get a sense, a clearer grasp of what we do here? A little, yes. <laughs> Is there anything dramatic? Some office politics, maybe? I just, I don't want to make everything seem too perfect. No office politics, I'm afraid. Nothing like that. We're all pretty much happy. And not simply happy, genuinely happy. And we get along. Is that hard to believe? <laughs> Can I show you something? Of course. We have to go downstairs. Okay. Where are we going? It's not much further. Everyone at the company knows about what I'm going to show you. Look, um, I'm getting goosebumps. Most of us come every once in a while just to check, to make sure, but we all know what's down there. <laughs> we count on it. Absolutely everything that this company is, all of the good that we do, the global food and water initiatives, the shelter, the urban beautification, the new national parks program, all the philanthropy depends on this and this alone. We're taught about it on the first day. It's a long day the first day because it's a bit of a shock. <laughs> It's a shocking thing. Maybe we can go back upstairs. I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling a bit tired. Let's keep going. Okay, can we go slowly? Of course. It's not much further. How long have you worked here? A few years. Does this place mean a lot to you? This place is almost everything. Thank you. 
Is this it? This is it. Could we not go in? I think you should know. Is it hard to know? For some, for a while, but eventually everyone understands that it has to be this way. If she's spoken to kindly or comforted in any way, the company and all its great charity work would be destroyed. It's so unfair. Most people go home sad or angry after they see her for the first time. How old is she? Nobody knows. She never ages. She looks exactly the same as she always has. She must be so lonely. The conditions are absolute, I'm afraid. The worse things get for her, the better things get for the world. It's always been this way. Can she speak? She's never spoken. Never. Not once in 25 years. <laughs> seems so young. Oh, no, no, she only looks that way. Some people think about her for days, weeks, months. But eventually, when they realize what would happen if she wasn't down here, if she was released, they accept it. I mean, think of all the lives that we've saved over the years and the difference that we've made. Isn't that worth it? Can we please go? Her existence makes everything else possible. Without her down here in the dark, the company would fall apart, and all of the good that we do would disappear. It's always been this way. Without her down here, hundreds of millions of people would have lost their lives. I, I don't understand. Aren't the lives of millions worth the suffering of one girl? I suppose it, in the end. It's a hard thing. It's maybe the hardest thing, but the more she's hurt, the better everything else in the world becomes. Can we maybe stay for a few more minutes? For a few minutes, certainly. <laughs> <laughs>